Network brings you NESCAC Women's Basketball. Good evening or late afternoon, wherever you're listening here on the Northeast Sports Network for this non-conference matchup between the Roger Williams Hawks as they face off against the Connecticut College Camels. 35 field goal percentage, 39.3 three-point percentage, free throw percentage at 53. Well, that really wasn't the problem because those were all in the top five of their season. But here's the biggest factor. They scored 20 points off the bench. That is the least they scored since November 18th against WPI. They only had 12 in that instance. They were able to win that game because of the starters scoring majority of the points. And here's the second thing. They scored seven in the first quarter, 13 in the third quarter. In a game against Emmanuel, which did have a high scoring affair throughout their season, you cannot go down 17 to seven in the first quarter and then having to fight back. I think being able to go up against a team like that earlier in the season is beneficial for them because looking at what they have the rest of the way, they have conference matchups against Trinity on Saturday on the 8th, and then they have Nichols on the 11th, then they go up against Army at Army on the 30th, and then they, I mean, you go down the line, conference game after conference game, Middlebury, Williams, Amherst, Hamilton, Wesleyan, go down the line. To go up against a team like that early allows you to be able to make the proper adjustments and then be prepared because the conference right now, it is stacked. We'll be right back to bring you all of that right here on the Northeast Sports Network. Chris Saunders bring you all the play-by-play -play here tonight between this non-conference matchup between the Connecticut College Camels and the Roger William Hawks. We'll be right back. High post, Ashton's gonna drive in, and as I said before, she finds the crease, when goes up with the right hand. Cowette finds Walsh for three, bang, nothing but net. Corcoran puts up the three, bang. Ashton fakes out, oh, pretty. Number 10, Sammy Ashton. Can she do any better than that? I don't know. A hustle, possession, staying with Khan. She thought that Walsh was there, but Walsh moved up after that attempted shot. But Corkin having that precision and the high basketball IQ was able to just get enough with her left hand as she dove as it was hit off the Hawks. But the hustle by Corkin. Let's give a lot of credit to Maggie Corkin, the senior forward, 5'10 from Milton, Massachusetts. Over the numbers, there's really nothing that's jumping out to me except for one stat, and that's the three-point percentage. Con College is 3 of 14, 21%. They came into this game averaging 35%, 36%, 35.8, however technical you want to be. Let's round the number up. 35% from the three-point line. They're 21% right now. You live by the three, you die by the three. And Con College has been a team that can shoot the three at will. On the right elbow, three from Corcoran. Bang, nothing but net. Corcoran, long range, bang. And a little bit right-handed fist pump after that. Driving into the paint, shot clock's at seven. Three, bang, Con gets the lead back. Puts up the three by Pangallo, bang. Con wins, final score, 65-53. And a game that Khan was down going into the halftime. They stepped up in that second half and won the third and fourth quarters. And for this Connecticut College team, how, when they lost to Emmanuel, you wonder if there was going to be any sort of lag from that. There was in the first half. And Jackie Smith was able to regroup the troops. And in that second half, they looked like a Khan team that was 7-0. Cameron Clark, who was my producer and cameraman, thank you very much for doing a fine job. So long from New London, Connecticut and have a safe and happy Thursday and Friday. We'd like to thank you for being able to watch here on the Northeast Sports Network. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time.